Let's talk about needles for just a minute. I just got my machine back from the shop and she is all oiled and cleaned and ready to start new. So I'm gonna start with a new needle. I use Schmetz ballpoint needles, uh, size 16. Uh, 16 because I use glide thread. So I use glide 40 weight thread uh, right there. You'll see my glide 40 weight. And needle size, when you're quilting, you choose because of your thread weight. So if you're using a 40 thread weight, you'll wanna use a size 16. Uh, you can use an 18 sometimes as well. The lower you go in your number thread weight, so like a 30 thread weight, you're gonna go to a, a higher needle size. So 30 wet thread weight might go to a 20. If you are going to a 60 thread weight, like Glide 60, or then a micro quilter 100 weight, you'll go to a size 14 needle. But generally, you're gonna use a 16 or 18 with a 40 weight thread. So this is just a really simple reminder of how to pitch your needle in. So a long arm needle has a round shank. I say that except that Bernina uses a flat back but most of our long arms use a round shank needle, so it's completely round. And when you put that needle in, a lot of people will just not realize they put it in backwards and then you're gonna get breaking and shredding and all kinds of awful things. But you have a groove. Let's see if we can see that. I don't know that you can see that with the camera. You have a groove that goes down one side of the needle and then you have a scarf that's just a little bitty indention on the other side. So that scarf will always go to the back and that groove will always go to the front, all right? So I'm gonna raise my needle bar, make sure it's up. Get that camera. And what I do is I take my fingernail and I put it straight towards me, all right? So my fingernail is in that groove straight towards me or at 630, I guess you could call that. I tighten it. I'm on a handy quilter forte, so this is pretty much all handy quilter machines. I put it in, I give it a turn tight, and then I tighten it with my Allen wrench just right not too tight, you don't wanna get it too tight. All right, so as long as your groove is down the front, scarf is in the back, you're ready to go. Okay, now let's talk about why a ballpoint needle. So I love and I sell Schmetz ballpoint needles, and that is because a ballpoint spreads your fibers, they don't cut them. Now this is different than sewing with a ballpoint because we would not be sewing cotton with a ballpoint, but when it comes to quilting, the needle is, it, it just reacts differently. So a ballpoint, I want my fibers to spread so that if I take out stitches, I won't have holes left. And that's especially in a lot of the fragile fabrics that I use, a lot of the heirloom fabrics, I will not have holes if I take out the stitches because a sharp will cut those threads. It might be minute, but you will have holes. Um, and in a batik, they will not leave holes. Um, when, if you take out stitches on a batik, you'll spray it with a little bit of water, take your fingernail over it, and they absolutely will disappear. Uh, the other thing about a ballpoint is uh, that there is not breaking or shredding of your thread. So most machines like to go from left to right, but then when you go right to left on a long arm, a lot of times uh, due to timing, um, they just don't stitch quite as well. So if you have a lot of breaking and shredding, try a ballpoint, I think they'll change your life. The other big, big, big thing they do, and everybody gasps when I say this, is I only change my needle twice a year. <gasps> I know, and the reason why. Uh, with a sharp, I would change my needle every quilt because you'll get a burr. With a ballpoint, your needle never burrs. And I know it's hard to believe, but I've used these for 10 years completely, and, and I can tell you from, uh, I quilt probably six to eight hours a day, almost every day, and I change my needle pr 
probably twice a year. And I'm not saying because I need to, it's because I feel like I should. Um, or if I have one thread break, then I change my needle. So that's a, that's a big game changer for me. So if you buy a pack of needles from me, they're 10 for $10, but you shouldn't need to reorder those for at least three years, okay? The other thing I do, the other tip I tell you is take a wipe off pen. So today is November the 2nd of 2021. So I'm gonna go right here on my the side of my machine, see if I can get you there. And I'm gonna put November 21, and I'm gonna put that I've got a number 16 in there. So I can, I can wipe that off, well, that's backwards, but you get it. Um, I can wipe it off when I put a new needle in, so um, I'll always know what date I put that in. And so when my thread breaks next mm, June, I'll say, mm, maybe it's time to put a new, new new needle in. So those are my points about um, a needle. I hope that helped you. Uh, you can find them always on my order page. And like I said, just order them once every two or three years, okay? All right, happy quilting, everyone. Bye-bye.